asceticism ought to be a reflection of your pursuit of God, just as works of love ought to be. You love others because you love God. You practice asceticism, you exercise asceticism because of your love for neighbor. You can't love the world and neighbor at the same time. You can't love God and Mammon at the same time. It's not like, oh, God is talking, I will be really jealous and sad if you love money and you love me. It's going to make me upset. That's not what God is saying. He's saying that's how you're built. You can't love God and Mammon at the same time. You can't have, you only have one capacity for love. And if you don't detach from that which weighs you down in the flesh, you won't be available to love God or neighbor. So yes, be ascetical, not because it grants you points, but because it enables you to love. It opens your capacity for God's grace and your ability to love because you are no longer selfishly attached to bodily pleasures. Who else's body is it? <laughs> it's your body. So if you're indulging your body, you're indulging yourself. You're serving yourself. That's how we concluded last class too. The whole point is orientation outside of yourself. That is the goal. That is the key. That is when you find yourself. That is when you find God. That is when you love others. That is the fulfillment of the good life. That is your transformation as a person. Emptying yourself, giving yourself, gifting yourself for the other. When you lose yourself, you find yourself. You can only do that as a human because Christ has done it for you. Through the Spirit on one hand, but also just very technically. I could pretty confidently say that we wouldn't have arrived at that because even now we have the example of Christ and people are like, what? Be selfish. Don't be humble, right? That's what modern society says now. That's even with the example of Christ. So certainly without the example of Christ, we wouldn't have come to that conclusion. It is not about works, but about opening up the door of the soul so God can enter. The goal of asceticism is to break pride and make humility the foundation of the human spirit. And again, you are either on an upward progression or a downward digression. The soul is constantly dynamic.